you know, as the old saying goes, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four disposable mascara wands. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. First of all, I would like to say holy guacamole. There are uh, several more of you on the channel today than there were just a couple days ago. So I want to say hello, welcome. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. So today we're going to be doing something that is highly unusual for my channel. We're really going to be getting out of our comfort zone today. And that is we're going to venture out into the public. And uh, I don't typically do that. I am not a vlogging channel. I also live in Kentucky and like nobody vlogs here. It's not like LA where I just imagine everybody carries like a selfie stick around. Uh, this is a smaller town in Kentucky. So I'm sure as I'm like walking around filming myself with my brick of a camera, people are probably either going to be slightly confused. They might be thinking I'm like trying to get their personal information so I can hack their Facebooks or something, or they just literally won't care at all, which is probably what's gonna happen. But anyway, today what we're going to do out in the public is take this just lovely gem of an advent calendar out in the world and see if we can recreate this entire thing here from the Dollar Tree. Now, as I was unboxing this absolute beaut of an advent calendar, I was thinking in my head, wow, I could probably find a lot of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. And I think a lot of you had that same thought. So today we are going to see if that is an actual possibility. So we have 12 doors here. I'm going to try to find the 12 products. I'm going to try to recreate the box. That's probably not going to go very well. And I'm going to see if I am able to recreate this for less than the $29 that I paid for it and for a whole lot less than the $85 that they say this calendar is worth. A lot of these things I think are going to be pretty easy to find at the Dollar Tree, but some of them might be a little bit hard, like the solid brush cleaner might be a little bit difficult. That is what we're going to be doing today. This is a very very, very different video for my channel, but so many people were saying, I think you could get all this stuff for like a buck. So I just want to see if we are correct and we could recreate this from the Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, so I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to take this with me. It might look a little suspicious putting this in my bag, but you know, it'll be fine. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you guys at the Dollar Tree. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was about this moment that I realized why I never film in public. There are literally 5,000 people in the world's smallest dollar store right now. So apparently I filmed the inside of my purse for like a full 15 minutes. All right, so I have most of everything I need. Some of the things are just a little bit questionable. They don't have the sponge applicators, which I typically always have sponge applicators in here. So I don't know where I'm gonna find those. We're gonna try to go to like a dollar store instead of a dollar tree and see if they have any more stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm being poked. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna find the last couple things that I need in here or we could possibly find in here. So I'm gonna go find the rest of the stuff and then I'll see you guys later. <laughs> my hair is currently tangled in the flower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that was me almost accidentally stealing my father's Christmas cards. I don't know how I already got lost. How do you already forget where you parked? Is it really bad that I think $3 is way too much for this blending sponge? I think that says something about me as a person. All right, now that's a little more like it. This comes with a pack of three and there's a smaller one and a larger one and it's $3.50 or it's $1.17 per each. Alrighty, everybody, so I am back from the Dollar Tree and boy, was it an experience. The Dollar Tree is one of my favorite places to shop, but for some reason today, it was like the apocalypse had hit and everybody needed their $1 Christmas decorations. It was a disaster. I don't know what was going on, but now I know that I'm not exactly the best vlogger. Very sorry, I didn't get too much footage inside of the store. I was trying my best, but uh, me being the person I am, had a very difficult time filming in front of everybody, but I think I I got everything I need. Some of it might be, you know, just a little bit uh, not quite accurate. All right, you guys, this one might be a little bit of a stretch, but it does say that it's non-toxic. So uh, if we can't find any other glitter adhesive, we might have to go with just a little bit of tacky glue. But I am going to, the best of my ability, try to recreate this advent calendar with all of the stuff that I got from the dollar store. Some of it did come from the Dollar General, specifically this little item right here, but everything else was $1 from the Dollar Tree. And altogether, I spent a grand total between the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General around $22. And that also includes some random extra items that I could just couldn't pass up. Uh, one was the smell good thing. Don't know why I needed that, but I got it. Two was this pretty looking nail polish here. Next was 
this pack of 40 little skinny hair ties. And then the final thing was this pair of fried egg socks. I you know, just things you really you just can't leave behind. So in reality, everything cost me around $18 and uh, I'm very excited to go ahead and see what on earth we'll be able to make out of this stuff. So, um, I love not thinking things through like all the way. There's a huge mess in front of me right now on my desk. I'm gonna go ahead and clean us a working space and then we can go ahead and try to turn this cereal box into a Sephora advent calendar. All right guys, so I think the very first thing we're gonna have to do is create the box. And I do believe this is gonna be the most difficult part of this entire project. Um, the supplies I have are just a little limited, but as you can see, the outside of this box is blue and it has little stars on it. Uh, what I have to recreate this is um, this bunch of cinnamon squares. only slightly stale. Okay, these are going to be set over to the side and now I have a empty cardboard box. It is quite a bit smaller than this box, but I'm hoping that maybe I can just shove things a little bit closer together. The next glaring issue is that uh, this box is yellow and has an elephant on it. So to remedy that problem, I got some of this construction paper and I'm hoping there is some good blue in here that I can wrap around the outside. And everything that I am showing you guys was included in that $18 that I spent to recreate this box. So even once like I am finished like completing this box, I will have a lot of stuff left over. I have a lot of construction paper, some really stale cereal. Okay, so I'm not seeing a blue that is that intensely blue, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to go with this. And I guess we're just gonna have to hope for the best. Now, um, almost thankfully that I couldn't find real glitter adhesive, I did pick up some tacky glue, so I'll be able to attach the paper to the box. Okay guys, so I went and uh, washed off the glue really quickly and also ate some soup real fast, but uh, now we're back and here is my blue box. Don't pay any attention to the corners or the back, it is a blue box. I'm more interested in what's going on with your necklace, man. Can you not feel that? Now that the actual vessel for the advent calendar is complete, we can go into the contents. So in the Sephora calendar, our very first day of Christmas, you know, as the old you know, as the old saying goes on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four disposable mascara wands. So this is what we have for our very first day of Christmas. And that is what is going to be in our first day of Christmas of our homemade advent calendar. And I have my four disposable mascara wands right here. Now I was not able to find these at the Dollar Tree, unfortunately. However, you are able to find these on Amazon in a pack of like 100, 200, 300 from anywhere from like $5 to $10. And if you're really particular and you really want those individual different little brushes. I found these four exact brushes that came in a pack of 200 for $15.99. And if you do the math on that, that makes each one of these little guys here around eight cents. These are definitely on the cheaper side because they don't have the silicone type bristles, but we're still gonna go ahead and say that these cost eight cents to put into our advent calendar. Okay, so the second day of Christmas, this one was a bit trickier. We have the little powder puff here and the only powder puff that I could find at the Dollar Tree came in this pressed powder. And I just ripped that out of there without even getting into the powder itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Sephora on this one. This little puff here is far superior to the puff that came inside this little LA Colors thing. This literally feels like a piece of like packing foam. But for the dollar, you also get some makeup. So that is our day two. Day three in Sephora, we have the tiny little vial of lash glue. And the thing about the Dollar Tree is I couldn't find any like individual little tiny lash glues, but with pretty much every pair of lashes, they had included lash glue for you. Don't need these for day three, but we do need this tiny little guy here, which seems right about the size of the Sephora one. And I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, but it does have the same stick applicator. So we have day number three. Moving on to day number four. Now this one's a tough because I could not find any type of solid or liquid blush cleaner, brush cleaner at either of the dollar stores that I went to. So this one, we're gonna have to improvise just like a tiny bit. And to do so, uh, I bought this three pack of Dial Basics Hypoallergenic Dermatologist Tested Soap. Now I know that this is not going to clean your brushes exactly like a brush cleaner would. There are different ingredients in that brush cleaning bar that are going to act differently with like actually dissolving and breaking down makeup. But I think you, you could get, you could somewhat clean your brushes with a bar of soap like this. But what I also was looking for was a smell comparison because I told you guys it smells just like hotel bar soap and so does this. Now the only other problem we have is a size comparison here. So I think I might try, this is gonna turn out so badly, I think I might try to shave down the soap a little bit and create a round-ish type disc. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so that actually wasn't nearly as difficult as I expected it to be and now everything smells very clean. So here are my little things of soap. Here's the one I got in the Sephora one and here is the one that I whittled down myself with a box cutter. Uh, again, these are definitely not the same exact products and this I'm sure has a much higher value in comparison to the little tiny bar of soap that I was able to carve out here. But I still don't think this is like a crazy valuable product that they could have put in the box to make it have that $85 value. I still have no idea how they got to that. But uh, this is the soap that I'll be using for my home homemade advent calendar. So for day number five here, this is the one that I'm able to recreate perfectly, but unfortunately it has not gotten to me yet. So this little palette ring I was able to find on eBay for 74 cents with free shipping. And unfortunately it has not made it my way yet, but I needed some type of like ring thing with like a large disc on it to replace it. So instead of this, uh, I picked up a little pack of ring pops. If we're being just fully honest, I would prefer to have this $1 package of ring pops versus this little metal thing like any day. <laughs> a lot of food coloring. The blue raspberry is like the best flavor of anything ever. So I'm pretty excited about this little ring. Don't try that at home kids. That is very not good for your teeth. But now I have my little like representation at the palette ring that is still coming to me in the mail. So that is day number five. Let's move on now to day number six, which is this little squishy guy right here. And I was able to pick up this three pack from the Dollar General for $3.50. All right, so here is the little sponge. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that kind of like snowman shape to it, but they do feel pretty decent. The Sephora one definitely has a better like feel to it. It's more spongy. So that is something to keep in mind. So this little guy is day six and now moving on to day number seven we have the lashes which you guys have already seen one time of uh, just minus the lash glue. So these are going to be day number seven. Moving on to day number eight the oh so infamous day number eight we have four I guess I've somehow already lost one. We had four, now we have three little eyeshadow things, which I was able to pick up at the Dollar Tree, 20 of them for $1. Now there is a difference between these. They are not dual ended, but you get 20 for $1. So, oh, and look, they even come in their own little plastic case thingy. And they have a very, very similar texture to the red ones. I really thought these would be kind of like light and spongy, but they're just as silicone-y and dense feeling as these are. All right, so here we have day number eight. And if you really want, wanted to, you could pop eight of these in there instead of four to make up for like the dual ended nature of the Sephora ones because you get 20 from the Dollar Tree. So you have that ability. Okay, moving on to day number nine, we have the glitter. Now, some people have said this is body glitter. Some people said it's for your hair. All I know is that it is very large, kind of like holographic-y type of glitter. So to recreate this one, I actually picked up two different things from the Dollar Tree. We have this nail pin, which on the bottom of it has these like big, chunky, hunky glitters, and they're not really glitter. They're kind of more like rhinestones, but I figured, you know, you're not going to put these on your eyes and you're probably not going to put these on your eyes either, but you can glue them to your body or stick them in your hair if you wanted to. And then I also picked up this one, two, three, four, five pack of glitter. And here we have a cute little silver glitter in the middle. These and this nail thing are actually kind of pretty. They're just like tiny little rhinestones. I think I'm going to go with these just because they have that kind of chunky quality to them. Okay. Day number 10 in the Sephora advent calendar. Oh dear. Day number 10 is also a pretty uh, special day. In the original Sephora advent calendar, you get four lovely, no metal included uh, hair ties here, which I was able to track down at the Dollar Tree. Again, no metal, metal clasps. For $1, of course, but that came with 15 of them. So we don't need all 15 of them to go into our advent calendar. That would be too excessive. So I'm just going to take four of them out. And I think I'm going to wrap them around a piece of this cardboard to kind of replicate what Sephora has done. Perfect. Okay, so here's where things get a little bit more iffy. Um, this over here is the Sephora glitter adhesive and um, I couldn't find glitter adhesive anywhere. So that's something that you probably can't pick up at the Dollar Tree, but I did find a good amount of tacky glue and it says it's non-toxic. So I'm thinking <laughs> that if you're just gluing like rhinestones onto you, since this glitter really can't be used for your face, then this would be okay. Maybe, maybe not. Don't listen to me. Don't put tacky glue on yourself. My biggest concern is that I don't know if this is going to be able to actually fit into the advent calendar because it's a little bit cramped as it is. Okay, so I really don't know how the glue 
glue is going to fit into this box. Um, as you can see, I have things laid out here like they are on the Sephora advent calendar, but the glue is just not fitting. So um, we might have to improvise just ever so slightly. But bringing us to the very last day, we have door number 12 over here, which has this tiny little miniature puff in it. And the pack that I purchased from the Dollar General did have three little sponges in it, but it didn't have one nearly as tiny. This one is quite a bit larger. I suppose I could cut this down to size. Would that destroy it though? Ooh. That's also kind of fun to do. This looks like a mangled mess. Um, I mean, they're relatively the same size now. This one just happens to look like it got caught in a lawnmower, chewed on by a dog, but you know. All right, you guys, so here is basically what the inside of the advent calendar would look like if everything was like placed in there. The tacky glue, just it's just not fitting. Please ignore the shredded remains of that poor beauty blender. But this is basically what we are left with. We have all 12 items laying on top of the cereal box. I guess in in retrospect, what I could have done is just replace the items inside this box with the items from the dollar store, but um, whoops. Well, now that I just realized that I could have made this like a billion times easier just by shoving the dollar store items into the Sephora calendar box, um, I guess I'm going to continue with the box that I have and do a little bit of like outside decoration to finish up the project and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so uh, I have finished decorating the outside of my advent calendar and it's just it's just honestly just a beauty. So uh, here we have it. It looks basically just like this. I mean, can you can you even tell a difference? So what we have here is basically just a recreation of the front of the Sephora box. Everything is numbered and labeled. Uh, what I have done just to make it a little extra special is thrown in just a little bit of glitter. Uh, apparently I've never before in my life drawn a star because yikes. And another little special thing that I've done on my box, instead of saying that it is a $36 box with an $85 value. I have said that this is a $10 box for a $20 value and I think that that is pretty much what Sephora should have done. This box to me should cost literally no more than $10 and I think that the $85 value is way 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 over exaggerated. So now the only thing left to do is fill our advent calendar and you know sometimes these little doors can be kind of pesky, a little bit difficult to open so to alleviate that I'm simply just gonna pop everything in the top here and then with one fail swoop you can get into your advent calendar and get out all of your goodies one at a time maybe if you still want to do 12 days. Can't forget our uh, glitter adhesive. Just stick that in there. And all you gotta do now is close the top and you can seal it if you want and now you have a gift ready for Christmas. Okay guys, so this is just meant to be something like kind of silly and fun, not to be taken too seriously, I mean obviously. But I really wanted to see if we could in fact recreate the Sephora calendar from the Dollar Tree and for some of the things I think we got pretty darn close. Like the hair ties and the eyelashes, the lash glue, the little applique here, those things to me got very, very close. There were definitely a couple of things in there that just, you know, it <laughs> it didn't come close at all. Like the tacky glue instead of glitter adhesive and the dial soap instead of the little soap bar here. Those things were definitely a stretch, but some of the things were pretty spot on. And I'm definitely not saying that this is in any way an advent calendar that you should buy for money, but I do not think that this advent calendar here is worth what they say it is. I do not know how on earth they squeezed an $85 value out of that calendar. I literally, I just can't literally seem to come to that conclusion. But let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I love reading comments from you guys. And thank you to everybody who has recently joined the channel. It means so very much to me. Thank you for coming out and hanging out with us. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna take my little homemade advent calendar here and um, I don't really know what to do with it. Let me, do you guys need like a white elephant gift or something? Let me know down below in the comments. This would make a beautiful white elephant gift. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. She says, thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.